As the name on the front of the boat suggests, this is Tess, a 60-foot cruiser-style narrowboat built by Liverpool Boats in 2005. She's in really nice condition. April 2017, she changed hands, so she had a full makeover then. There was a hull survey, which is available for inspection. She was blacked, she was serviced. The anodes were checked and satisfactory. She's in good condition. The pram hood here, as you can see, is more than reasonable. The paint works in good condition. And on we go onto the stern deck. This is six feet long. Slightly unusual, the back bench there is over the external diesel tank. It's very comfortable. Lovely spot for cruising. There's the throttle and the controls. And that's the view from the helmsman's position. I've left the pram hood up, but of course it does collapse or come off. But it does provide quite a nice room over the rear deck if you're spending some time on board. The Isuzu 42 is housed under the deck boards there. And on we go into the boat. The wood's oak, tongue and groove horizontal down the cabin sides, oak face ply below the gunnels, and the ceiling is white painted tongue and groove. So the sink is on the starboard side of the boat here, very good size cupboards underneath. Next to that, a bank of three good sized drawers. There's a microwave which sits over the counter here, and to the right of that is a good sized hanging cupboard. The three kilowatt Victron inverters at the bottom there, you can see, providing on, vo on board 230 volts when you're not hooked up to the landline. There's some lights in the back steps here, you can see there. And then the two steps coming from the top, there is additional storage. Another good sized cupboard on the port side of the boat. Here, there's lots of storage on this boat, you'll see as we go through. And the chlorophyll sits underneath the shelf there. Three bottled wine rack, that's next to the fridge. That's a 230 volt fridge, and the freezer is next to it, you can see there. There's a roll-out shelving unit here. Both fridges are 230 volts, but there is wiring for 12 volts should you prefer to install those. Very good work surfaces in here. Here's one of those cupboards that I get terribly excited about, the carousel arrangement. Very practical. And then next to the drop-in Separate oven and grill with a four burner gas hob. That's a Stowe's DRT 500. Lots of workspace in this uh, kitchen as, as well as storage space. And the bin seat sits neatly under the, uh, the unit there as it curves away. Very light this boat, there are lots of windows, good sized windows. And on we go into the, the dining area. It's a single sided Pullman dinette. Slightly unusual, the storage under the table there. Side hatch opposite, and a bar stool on the non bench side of the Donetta. Another bench could very easily be installed if that's your wish, but it is quite an interesting design. I quite like it. Into the saloon, past the futon, lots of space in here. The saloon measures at 17 feet long. That's the sky box. There's a self seeking satellite on board as well. Just need to put a television in and there you have it. There's the JVC stereo. Some good cupboards here actually. And they sit next to the Villager Heron solid fuel stove. Fuse boxes there. Lots of light, lots of space. I didn't mention the galley. That's 11 feet long so quite a roomy area between the galley and the saloon. Lovely, nice woodwork. Then we go into probably one of the largest bathrooms I've seen on a narrowboat. 
seven and a half feet long sliding door here so the door doesn't encroach into the room or the corridor lovely quadrant shower glass doors tiled inside there's a towel rail in here and two loos seen a couple of these boats recently with a brace of loos and here's a really clever cupboard arrangement opens out hey presto double the storage space and there's a little one the other side as well I mentioned the towel rail the heating on board is diesel fired powered by an Eberspacher three radiators on board and that towel rail that we go towards the bedroom which being a reverse style boat is in the bows or the forward cabin another radiator there that's the third of them on board there were two in the saloon area and a good sized bed six feet long by four feet wide with three very good sized drawers underneath the bedroom itself measures 10 feet long 10 feet 3 inches long some very good sized cupboards over the bed head and there are reading lights underneath those useful corner cupboard here and opposite that very good sized wardrobe on the right with a shelving cupboard just to the left of that with some drawers underneath as I said at the start ample storage aboard let's have another look at the bedroom it's a lovely room this very light the white ceilings of course add an extra dimension the head height in this boat is classic Liverpool uh, six foot seven they made good good headroom boats and there's the well deck there's a couple of comfortable seats either side of the doors here in the well deck could of course put cushions on the, the lockers there either side back to the boat we go might as well have another look past the cavernous bathroom it's a wood laminate floor on board Tess All feels very nice. There's the side hatch. And out we go. There's the office, just checking that Matt's doing some work. Looks like he is, that's his desk in the bay window. Well done, Matt. I think he's doing the layout plan for Tess. There we go, Phil. Further photographs and a fully downloadable colour brochure go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk